everybody, we're playing some more Pokemon. Whew, starting off a little. Okay, um, we're about to go talk to Sycamore, but real quick, I just want to appreciate this music in the background. Um, very much reminds me of Bravely Default. I don't know if they like stole the track, but um, beautiful. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Also very similar to Bravely Default, but um, anyway. Um, so we... Oh! Hey! That's actually extremely useful. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's a really useful move, actually. So I'll... Okay, let's just, like, skirt. Alright, Sycamore. What's going on, man? Many thanks for coming all the way to Vannyville Town. I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How's your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic. Let me have a look at your Pokedex and see. Hmm, so you've seen 39 kinds of Pokemon in Central Kalos, then. The pages are getting filled in. It's starting to look good. Well, now, we do have a certain, um... I know how to say it. It's just... Man, I'm not French, man. Leave me alone. I have a good feeling about you. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from a town when I was deciding who to give a Pokemon to. In Vannyville, it was going to be the child of the veteran trainer I know. And then I learned that the Rhyhorn Racer Grace and her son were moving there. Here in the Kalos region, you're far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me right there. Then it hit me. I should give you a Pokemon and have you tra travel around Kalos. Oh, it's Shauna. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic. Now let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me. Alright. Let's do it. Just so you know, I'm not that tough. You're challenged by Professor Sycamore. Right. Bulbasaur, that's pretty cool. Pulling out the Kanto favorites, huh? Alright, well that it's a bad matchup for sure. But not not particularly that big of a deal. Leech life. Okay, leech seed. Well, it's gonna take some life away from me. Um hopefully not too much. Oh, that actually was a good bit. That's a little that's a little scary. Hopefully Water Pulse can do more than half. Yeah. Alright, we should be able to kill it next turn without a problem. It is a good amount of life though. Alright, we should be able to kill it with another pound here though. The problem is I think it's gonna leech life until even after it dies, right? I think it leech lives into the next Pokemon. Fletchling, level 10. Squirtle. It's gonna keep battling. Mm. Let's just do another water pulse, because it, it's gonna do more than the pound, even if it's not effective, so. Yeah. Well, we even confused it, which is nice. Alright. Fence Rose. Yep, and it's still gonna steal some from me, which is fairly annoying. This is actually not that easy of a battle. I'm surprised. They they kind of stepped up the intensity of the battle pretty quickly. Which is actually very surprising for me. But so far, the rest of the game has been pretty easy. But in its confusion, it's hit itself, so that actually helps quite a bit. Alright, about to send in Charmander. This is definitely the easiest one. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a Water Pulse. Bonk. Super effective. Alright, cool. Pidgey to level 14. Haha, <laughs> you're too much for me. You really are something, aren't you? And I received. 1400. I think I've about figured it out. Figured what out? David, you're an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. Alright. This is a pretty easy decision. So look, y'all know Squirtle is my preferred starter. I love Squirtle. Squirtle's what I picked in Leaf Green. But because I picked it in Leaf Green, I do not want to choose Squirtle. But y'all also know that I don't very much like Bulbasaur in the slightest. I I just don't like Bulbasaur. It's, Bulbasaur's never been my thing. So we're left with Charmander. And honestly, I like Charmander too, so really not that big of a deal. 
So yeah, Charmander's what we're going with. You picked Charmander then, I see. That's simply wonderful. Um, oh, we gotta literally send one away. Um, crap. Uh, Zigzagoon, go away. Received Charmander. Would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Nah, I'm good. Oh, I see. You're not going to give your Pokemon a nickname. Now, since you chose Charmander, I'll give you this Mega Stone. Charizide X. Come now, you two. Pick your Pokemon. I don't know which one to pick. It's so difficult. You'll be together for a long time, so just take your time. Well, I've got a feeling everyone will show up soon. Hi, Professor Sycamore. What's this? Everyone is already here? Wonderful. Everyone's all here. So now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be. At the same time, remember to have fun traveling with your Pokemon. Also, I want to ask for your help in solving the Kalos region's biggest Pokemon mystery. The secret and potential of Mega Evolution. A new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. That's why I gave you that Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Mega Evolution, what should we do about the Pokedex? Trevor, my lad, if that's what best trainer means to you, then I want you to go out there and complete the Pokedex. If you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out a uh, campier town? The town has a lot of history, you might find a hint there. Now listen, if you visit many places to complete the Pokedex, you will see Pokemon with many ways of living and meet people with many ways of thinking. First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own, and think about what's really important. This will truly broaden your horizons. Mastering Evolution will definitely set me apart from other trainers. Now listen, okay. So Seri is Serena our is Serena our rival or is she? Well, anyway, I think we can basically skedaddle, right? We're good. Peace out, Girl Scout, right? Well, let's get out of here. Um, so definitely I'm gonna play really the route of catching them all. That's what's important to me. So I will be able to meet them soon then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. Ah, here's one of them now. That's David. David, come here a sec. Oh, you received a Pokedex from the professor then. How wonderful. This is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lissandre. I have tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can. To help build a brighter, brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a Holocaster. Knowledge is powerful after all. Put it to good use. Now listen, it is, a, it is vital that this world become a better place, and the people and Pokemon chosen to make the world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be off. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire is for a more beautiful world. Still, I wonder what kind of beautiful world uh, Lissandre desires. Is this a great big Kalos region? There are, in this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. I hope getting a Pokedex gives you a chance to learn about them. I hope so. Big D, there's a place I want to go check out. So, I'll see you around. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you in Cafe Soleil, neighbor. I wonder what Serena wants to talk about. Why couldn't she just use the Holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush-hush. I am curious about what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Hey, Big D. To get to Camp Fear Town, leave the lab, turn left, and go straight. That cafe Sir was talking about is the is that way, too. Okay, so leave, go left, and go straight. Limoe City may be very large, but if you stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm going to go on a little walk. The streets sure... Wind and Wander here. Oh, just so you know, Camp Fear Town, Camp Freer Town, and Cafe Soleil are all over this way. Okay. South Boulevard. Alrighty. Big D, check this out. You can make trainer PR videos here. Alright. Um. I don't really want to do that. Alright, what's over here? I guess that's where we get our haircut, right? That's probably to Route 5? What is this? Oh, I just saw it. This is the haircut place. I don't need a haircut, so that's fine. Could you come here for a sec? I mean, sure, I guess. If you want to grab some coffee or something. 
Oh, it's Lissandra. It's Lissandra. Lissandre? Lissandre? Yeah. And is that Diantha? Just so you know, neighbor, Lissandre is the head of the Lissandre Labs, which created the Holocaster video messaging device. You already, you already know who Diantha is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing together here. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever and always play such roles? What a strange question. Why would I want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be forever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I would make this world unchanging and eternal so all beauty will last forever. I can't stand the thought of a, the world becoming uglier. Oh, hello, David. This is Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves in magnitudes with her excellent acting, which is to say, she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone was like her. What a beautiful world this would be. You'll excuse me. And who are you two? My name is Serena, and this is David, right? I heard Lissandre call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself in my off time. I look forward to us battling someday. Cool. Hmm, I guess if you're a Pokemon trainer, you battle everyone, no matter who they are. Well, that's right, I have something to ask you, neighbor. Would you be willing to compete with me? Compete with me to see which one of us will become stronger? I know we set off on our journey just after we arrived in Vannyville, but we are neighbors, and I think it would be fun to have a competition with you. Just so you know, I won't lose, though. Alright. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Do I not get to fight you? Um. Okay, apparently she didn't. She wants to fight, but not now. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Later. Alright, so now we can continue left. What is this? Is this another cafe? Okay, apparently it's another cafe. Um, long. I literally have no idea what he's talking about. Um. Alright, whatever, man. Let me actually see what the little kid wants. Um, okay, I'm fine, actually. Wait. Okay, I was gonna say... I don't think I can do anything like that. Real quick, I haven't saved in a hot minute. I should probably save here. Oh, it auto-saves. Never mind, I'm a dummy. Okay, I'm guessing I still can't go in this direction, right? Yeah. It's not gonna let me go towards the middle for quite a while, it seems. It's completely understandable. Now, we have Route 5 earlier, so we can still go there. Wait, Route 5 is where we came from, no? No. Okay. Okay, so that is a new place. What happens if we keep going this way? Okay, it will not let us go this way, right? Sorry, this black guy, you can't go any further. Okay, so I'm guessing then we have to go down Route 5, and that'll bring us to the other towns. So I guess that's fine. Let's go ahead and go that way. Hello, clip received. So check this out. I'm on Route 5 right now, and I'm just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come check it out. Well, I'm trying, bud, but you called me. Let me let me go. Alright, and we actually do have a lot of new Pokemon here. Hey. Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. You ever heard of O-Powers? The expression of yours tells me you haven't. Don't worry, I'll tell you all about it. Low powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of useful effects that can make your Pokemon stronger or even help you get more money. Any friends you have nearby will also benefit them. They truly are mysterious powers. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. You can now use attack power and defense power. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can use those considering I'm not connected to the Nintendo platform, but... Um, let me make sure these guys don't have anything to give me. Okay. Into the town we go. So. Ooh. That's a... 
That's a whole Lucario there. Wait, Lucario. Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario and all of a sudden I dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Well, it seems like Lucario likes you. Lucario can read people auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. But Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with the other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry. That was such a role. I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Corinna, the Shaller City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I look forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Alright. Coolio to me. Alright, so quickly... Okay, so there's standard walking, there's purple flowers, and there's horde battles. Okay, so I don't know the difference between them, to be 100% honest. But, what is this? Oh, this is literally like, skate park. You like, practice. Can we do like a grind? Okay, apparently I... Oh, I need to... Oh, I need to hop up on it, don't I? Don't... How do I hop up on it? Can I? Sick. All right, so I was like, wait, I can I can hop up on it, right? Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so we got a so we got a couple of bushes and we got a couple of fighters, but all right. Ooh, Pancham, ten percent. Another very very cool Pokemon that I want. Um. Probably won't end up fighting with it. Also, I hope I just don't kill it with a quick attack. It shouldn't. Yeah, okay. I was like, these Pokemon are a little stronger than the ones before, so I didn't think I would kill it. I just really need Frogadier to not uh, crit, like he seems to like to do when I'm catching new things. Okay. Well, we got in the red, so it should be pretty easy to catch now. And we've got a... we got... Oh, we got a lot of balls, actually. I forgot that we got, like, a random net ball, a couple luxury balls, so... We do have, you know, things lying around to catch stuff with nowadays. Alright, there's our Pancham. Alright. And we got plenty of other Pokemon to catch, so we're nowhere near done. It does its best to be taken seriously by its enemies, but its glare is not sufficiently intimidating. Chewing on its leaf is its trademark. Cool. We love Panchan. What is down here? Okay, there's literally nothing down there. Oh, we can do a few more encounters, because there's going to be, again, a plethora of new Pokemon. Alright, a Skiddo. Skiddo is very cool, and I know it has some, I think, other uses in the game, actually. If I pound it, it won't die, right? Okay. Alright, tackle me back. Um. Pokeballs. Yeah, let's go ahead and send out a Pokeball at it. One. Two. Three. Don't. Ah, uh, thank you, Skiddo. Alright, Skiddo is a homie. And it didn't mess with us. Surprised we haven't seen a Bunnelby yet, but hey, we'd love to see it. Thought to be one of the first Pokemon to live in harmony with humans, it has a placid disposition. That's cool. Skiddo's a homie. He's a real homie. Alright, we got... Who else we got? Frufru! Or Furfru, not Frufru, -fru, it's Furfru. And this is the one Pokemon that, like, we can, like, change its hairstyle and stuff, which is pretty cool. Ooh, has some strong defense, it seems. Now, will my pound kill it? No, I'm not gonna- let's, let's just do a quick attack it again. Especially if, you know, he kits on accident. Let's go ahead and go to the bag. Pokeball. Throw a Pokeball at it. Ooh, foo foo. Didn't even take a chance. He jumped out of that boy so quick. One, two, three. 
Thank you, Fru Fur Fru. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it Fru Fru for the rest of my life, but it's actually Fur Fru. And also, another thing that I like noticed is you actually get XP for catching, which wasn't the case in Leaf Green. If you catch something, you don't get XP. Trimming its fluffy fur not only makes it more elegant, but also increases the swiftness of, of its movements. Cool. Alright, let's maybe do a couple more encounters and then we'll probably head off. Another Pan Champ. Alright, well, we don't need another Pan Champ, so let's go ahead and just uh, run away. But let's go ahead and probably do some double battles here. People say we're like two peas in a pod, they say we're two halves of a hole. Now, I don't know who my second Pokemon is. Twins, Faith, and Joy, Minute, and Plus. <laughs> I don't know who my other one is, so... Oh, Bunnelby. That's hilarious. Alright, Bunnelby. You're actually fine. He's level 12. We're gonna Water Pulse. Plus hole. And we can go ahead and uh, double slap the mine in. Quick attack. Oh, and I was like, that does a lot of damage, but it just critted, so that's fine. Bonk. Easy. Level 22. There we go. Alright. PG level 15. I'm pretty sure it evolves at 16, right? So. Bonk. Ooh, that, like, does nothing. Okay. Fair enough. A water pulse. Ooh. Now, question. Will it water pulse the wrong thing? I didn't think it would. It's a child-friendly game. Even if I clicked the wrong place, it would it would go to the right one. I'm gonna be level 13. Um, do I want to learn Mud Slap? No, keep old moves. Yes, I don't want to learn Mud Slap. That's fine. Again, not like he's gonna be a Pokemon that I'm gonna be using anyway, right? So, Charmander level 12. Aww. I'm sorry. Okay. Nothing down here. And there is the guys. Gulpin! I don't know. I'm not gonna say it. I wanna say it, but I'm not gonna say it. Alright, I'm gonna pound the Gulpin. Hopefully not kill it. Okay, good. Ooh. The game did a little... Did its thing again. Alright, poison gas. Oh, don't poison me, you butthead. Why? Why would you do something like that? I'm gonna have to use an antidote. I'm gonna pound you again. Alright. Um. Hopefully he gets caught in the first ball, just so I don't have to deal with the poison for too much longer here. Alright, gulping. One. Oh! Critical catch. Cool. You love to see it? Um, no. That's fine. No, nope, keep old moves. That's fine. We don't need agility. Agility's not that useful. <laughs> It has a small heart and brain. Its stomach compromises most of its body with enzymes that can dissolve anything. Alright, we actually caught a surprising amount of the Pokemon. We have most of them. But there's another one that we need. And then, all we have left is really the rare ones on this route now. Which is the Abra and the Plusle. Those are the only ones left. But they are the 5%ers, the hard ones. Um... Alright. Oh, I did not de-poison Frogadier. Alright, well, remind me to do that, guys, in the comments. Um, let's see, I'm trying to see if there's anything... We can find Scraggy in Hordes, but I... Don't particularly know how to do Horde battles, so... I'll have to figure that out in a minute. Alright, another Pokeball. 
bueno. Oh. Ourselves a Doduo. Epic. A two headed Pokemon that was discovered as a sudden mutation. It runs at a pace of over 60 miles per hour. That is very fast. Alright, oh, wait. I told you guys to remind me in the comments. Um. Antidote, use, and then let's also have a super potion, use, ah, there we go. Just so I don't want to go, I don't want to like go back and heal. Alright, only thing we're looking for now is Abra and Plusle. Now both of these are 5 percenters, so it's going to take a little bit. This is one of the rare Pokemon. All right, here we go. An Abra. Now here's my deal. I don't know if it's like the original games. Does it? Does it do the dash the second it doesn't get caught? Let's figure it out, I guess. Psych. We won't have to do that. We'll just catch it. Yeah, I'm scared. It's it's just like the originals where it dips the second you don't you know catch it. We'll have to figure that out another day, though. It sleeps for 18 hours a day. It uses a variety of extrasensory powers, even while asleep. Cool. I love Abra, and I love Alakazam. Funny enough, um, I took, like, a just a 10-minute break in between this episode, or, like, between the Eclipse, and, um, what I was doing, I was beating Giovanni in Pokemon Go, and the... The second character was Machamp, so I used an Alakazam to counter that Machamp, so I do love myself a little and oh, also the, you guys are probably watching these months, but um, the Mega Raid just came out for Alakazam, so um, that's another thing that is happening. Okay, so really quickly, um, the only thing we need is Plusle and Minin. Now, I'm pretty sure I can get those from Horde Pokemon, if I'm correct. Oop. So really quickly, let's go back and grab our Combi, which I think has that. So let's do that. For now, let's just go ahead and put away Bidoof, and let's grab Combi. Sweet Scent. Okay, yeah, Combi does have Sweet Scent. Now, I wish I could grab a female Combi, um, but I will deal with that in the future. Let's go back to where we were at. And see if we can uh, hoard a plus or mine in. That might be a much, much easier way to grab both of them, basically, both at once. Because we have every single other Pokemon. Yeah, this one wasn't actually too bad. And also, we need the horde Pokemon for... See, but now, how do I use it? Do I have to... Is that how I use it? That is, okay, cool. All right, that was the first time using it. Who do we get? Scraggy! Hey, we love Scraggy. That's actually one that I need, so. Um, yeah. All right, is it gonna intimidate me? Okay, it's not. Well, let's go ahead and, um, let's chuck a great ball at one of the Scraggies. I have to fight every single one of them until, okay. Well, it looks like I got to kill four of them before I can catch the one, so that's fine. Oh, quick attack doesn't kill it. Oh, dude. Alright. This is gonna take a hot minute. Because every single one is gonna hit me. Oh, this is kind of bad. Okay. Let's... This is gonna be bad. 
Am I gonna get my, like... I'm gonna get my butt whooped by five Scraggy? This is bad. I have made a mistake, apparently. Okay, there we go. I hit one of them. Alright, now I just need to hit three more. More pocket sand. Another low kick. Those low kicks are gonna start to hurt. Oh, and it was a crit too. Alright, let's go ahead and water pulse this one. So much sand! Why is there so much sand? We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. We'll get there. Alright, come on. Please don't miss. This is actually unfair. This is actually unfair. Dude, he keeps avoiding it! Am I gonna die? There we go. Although, I'm kind of setting myself for getting low kicked and dying here. Alright, Charmander to 13. Don't low kick me again. Alright, perfect. Okay. I should probably heal myself here. Um, Super Potion. Alright, there we go. Oh, I won't die from a low kick. Amazing. I would have died from that. Alright, cool. I just need to fight a few more of you. Yes, yes. Just keep using your leers and sand attacks, you absolute buttheads. I'll get through each of you at some point. Because I do not have a move that is hurts all of them just yet. And also, I wouldn't want that because I don't want to kill all of them. I only want to kill a few of them. Last one, please don't. Dude, this is gonna kill me. There we go. Alright, last Scraggy. Now I can finally catch it. He's gonna just do one more low kick just to be like that. Alright, Pokeball, here we go. One. Critical catch. You love to see it. Alright, well there is the Scraggy. Very nice. So now all we need is plus soul and mining. Its skin is rubbery elasticity, so it can reduce damage by defensively pulling it but skin to its neck. Very epic. Alright, so question, do I just do that again? Do I just uh, use move sweet scent and just keep using sweet scent? And we just get a different Pokemon each time? Oh, no, no, no. I don't need any of y'all. So I guess I'm gonna keep doing that until I get kind of get what I need here. Okay, I was like, please don't make me battle all of these Scraggy again. They're gonna... No, I didn't mean to walk. I mean, I guess I could get a plus hole this way. I get a plus hole this way. Alright, there we go. I'm um, Actually, that wasn't a terrible thing that I did that, because uh, now I don't need to find a plus hole in a horde. I just need to find a mine in a horde. So, actually, thank you, David, for making a mistake, actually. One, two... Ah, you butthead. Alright, Frogadier. Let's go. Oh my. Come on, man. So I just need to find that stupid mining after this. Well, it shouldn't be that bad. Neither of these evolve, so they're kind of useless Pokemon, but gotta catch them all.
Come on, man. You're a you're a plus soul, dude. How do you keep escaping the balls? You shouldn't be this strong. You gotta be kidding me, man. They're gonna, he's gonna make me run all the way back to the center just to get that paralyzation off me. Alright, thank you. That took only forever. But, we should be able to get mining and horde battles, so... Well, we can get that one, too. Um... What does round do? Sixty. What is this? Forty. Forty. Oh, th these are both forty. Let's get rid of Pound then. Yeah, whatever. They're both forty. I'd rather just quick attack at that point. All right, we learned round. All right, and Pidgey should probably evolve here, right? It chews on friends of pom poms made of sparks. It drains power from telephone poles. Pidgey Evolution? No. Okay. Well, anyway, do we have a Paralyzation Heal? So I don't... Okay, we, I do. I'd rather not have to go back for that. Alright, well... So we just need a Sweet Scent for... Mining, basically. So let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully, again, we need that Mining. Mine? Oh, Okay. Hey, we have a mining in between. That's really all that matters. I'll just kill the rest. Doesn't matter to me. Alright, let's kill all the other plusles. I just need the mining. As long as they don't paralyze me. I'm hoping they don't. Alright, Fletchling to 14. Home beat to 10. No! Of course, the first thing it does is paralyze me. Wow, well, that's fine. That's not that big of a deal. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna fight through the Paralyze, and hopefully I can kind of just... Uh, what did that do? Man, this is gonna. I feel like this is gonna take a long time with me being paralyzed the way that I am. And if they keep using this play nice thing, dude, come on. There we go. Alright, we got a water pulse off. Wonderful. Down you go. Alright, Water Pulse. I need to make sure I don't Water Pulse the mine in, or I'm going to be extremely sad. Hey, there we go. Alright, one more attack, and we're, we'll be handy dandy here. Charmander to 14. Alright, Water Pulse. Gotta make sure we Water Pulse the Plusle, not the mine in. Okay. Water Pulse. Plusle, yes. Alright. A little bit of a hippity hoppity. Bonk. Alright, we just got the mining. And then we have officially caught everything on this route. Got him bag it. Pokeballs. I'm not going to bother hurting it because I just don't feel like going through all that, so... Thanks. I'm glad I stayed on the first ball here. Okay, there we go. Exposure to electricity for minor and impulsive promotes blood circulation and relaxes muscles. Cool. Alright, guys. 
Um, that is enough for that. We've officially caught all of the Pokemon on Route 5. Now we actually have... To I think our our friends are over at the other end. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and heal, and then we'll go back there at the start of the next episode. Thanks for watching.